Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're hopping back into seven days to die after, uh, well, last time's disaster. I'd prefer not to talk about it. Uh, we cleared out our inventory. We're heading out. We're gonna try to reloot up everything that we lost. Spoiler, we lost quite a bit. And actually, now that I think about it, we might not even be able to grab everything because I think we literally had a full inventory when we left. So we might need to prioritize a little bit. I'll hopefully save that backpack for later. But anyways, I hope all of you are having an absolutely fan freaking fantastic day. And I saw the feedback from you guys. Overwhelming opinion. You guys want me building in the military base. And honestly, I want to build in the military base too. You guys gave some compelling reasons. It was really overwhelming. So I'm saying... I think we're gonna try to make the move there. It's already very fortified. All we gotta do is focus pretty much on fortifying it more with traps, that type of stuff, and potentially even throwing like a generator somewhere in there. Cause I'm thinking that that might be a distinct possibility. But anyways, now with the town in distance, I'm gonna be looking down a lot more. <clears throat> I wanna be very careful for hubcap landmines, uh, my arch nemesis, you know, just freaking RKO out of nowhere. Because apparently that seems to be the new popular thing is RKO Star with the hubcap landmines straight out out of nowhere. So I'm very skeptical of these rocks. I feel like they're actually hubcap mines in disguise, but our backpack should be coming up pretty soon here. I just hope we don't get attacked by anything too annoying. Looking at you, vultures. Uh, but we should be getting pretty close. I'm I'm looking a lot. <laughs> like I said, I'm really looking down because I'm very scared of what these can do. Are you are you a hubcap landmine? Hmm. Oh no, the vultures aggroed us. Of course there's a vulture by my dead body. It's only fitting, right? Uh, the good news is... Christ. This is not good. This is not good. Uh, is my backpack even still intact? Or did my backpack blow up too? Uh, no, the backpack's here. Okay, that's good news. Why don't we loot everything that we can? And we did not loot a lot, did we? Okay. Let's just make sure we don't trigger any more landmines. Uh, we gotta start equipping some stuff. Because we definitely came here. That thing, I'm pretty sure we can drop. Because we already have one of her treasure maps. Or maybe we shouldn't. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe that'll come in handy. Uh, oof. This has got me... Uh, well, we got two of these. Why don't we scrap a couple of these guys? We can start wearing all of our clothes. We have quite a few. And that snake is coming for us. So hopefully I do not get my face eaten. Hello, snake. I see you, you despicable thing. I wish I had something to hit you with, but I really don't. Oh, we can wear that thing. Awesome. That should clear up a couple more slots. Snake went chill mode out of nowhere. He looks pretty chubby, to be fair. Uh, hello, chubby snake. Sorry, your day isn't going super well. Uh, what else do we have to grab? Well, why don't we start grabbing a couple of these that we can actually wear on top of everything. There we go. Definitely grab that. Spike club, sniper rifle, booze, tea, and can I wear that? Uh, no, we gotta clear up like one more slot. Uh, well, there's a snake right there, so I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Why don't we just scrap the rocket launcher, we'll grab the military helmet, and we're looking good. Oh, it's the stupid two cloth that we had in our inventory. Man. Alright, well hopefully when we head over here, this town is already looking to be a whole lot better. Hey, we got a little patch of food here with a ton of blueberries. That's really nice. We got a freaking giant factory right there. We got the military base, we were in the midst of infiltrating. That gate might actually be the weak point, so maybe if we can get our hands on some concrete or a concrete mixer... Ow. Sorry about that. Uh, A, I got hurt, and B... Well... That thing was in the way, so let's see if we can actually make this jump this time. To hell with it if we take like a couple of damage there. Oh god, we're bleeding. Okay, 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 this is bad. Well, okay, we got the first aid bandage, why don't we... Well, we didn't bleed too much. Lost about six health. I say we should be able to uh, heal that up pretty soon. We already looted up here. We got to make our way down. I'm just making sure that, you know, no zombies respawn or anything like that. We're, we were making our way up here before everything decided to hit the pooper. Um, where's our shot? There's our shotgun. We're going to have that over in our inventory. And we got the spiked club as well. I'd say we're pretty prepared here. Uh, probably. Why don't we? Hmm. I has an idea. It involves, well, we only have, okay, to hell with those casino tokens. He's gonna continue breaking through there, so thank you for your hard work there, fella. Uh, is that a hole? I wonder where that go- ooh. We could investigate that a little bit later. Anyways, let's put all of our important stuff back here. We can probably drop the two cloth. What I want to do is make a storage 
Secure storage. Okay, I was looking at the storage box. I'm like, wait, I can't make it. Uh, I'd love to make one of these. Plop it on down somewhere in this base, even just temporarily. And that way, well, hopefully we don't eat poop right away. And, you know, at least we can put some of our stuff away. That's kind of kind of the hope here. So I guess we'll kind of start off by putting it there. Because for some reason it wants to levitate. And from there we can probably drop off... We don't have a hunting rifle on us. We might want to start wearing that because it's getting pretty hard out there. I'll have that just in case though. I'll start dropping some of the parts. Shotgun shells stay just in case things hit the fan. Hazmat suit maybe. Oof. Okay, I guess we'll kind of drop a couple of these things here. Okay. This is pretty good. And actually, I should scrap some of those, but I'm pretty happy with what we dropped. It leaves us a little bit of room. We don't have a pistol. I don't think we're gonna have to dig through anything. Okay, I think we're good. Time to crank up the gamma. And head on down. Alright. It's time to go. Some of you guys might wonder, Star, why you crank up the gamut? Listen, you guys saw what it was like last time. Alright, this is a dark and unforgiving place. Okay? Already, just walking in here. It's poop. Although, we should have already cleared this place out. But the problem lies in the next sector. And we got about eight hours to hopefully cl finish clearing out what we started. And I'm gonna be very... Very careful this time around, because I do not want another zombie ambush to hit us in the bum. I'm literally checking every corner, anything that looks like it might be a person, even this old trash that could be a person. You never know. Empty file trash. I think this is where the bodies attacked us. Something, anything in the corner? Or is it in there? Well, that door's locked. Okay, we're looking clear. Is this a person? No, that's an empty pile of garbage. Hmm. This place really is dark. Alright, well, I think I know the next place we want to go in. Do we want to go into there? Because that's like the nuclear reactors or stuff. It is good that it looks like the zombies from this floor are all safe. I want to work our way up first. Because that door is locked, so it could probably stay locked if need be. Oh, is that the feral nurse? Dude, I don't know. Last time, you guys remember... No, she was just plagued. Okay. Last time I saw a nurse, it was feral, it was on top of a skyscraper, and it was horrifying. So, I would really love to not encounter any more of those. Because when I saw that feral one, I'm like, it's not nighttime! What's happening? Why is she sprinting? It was utter shenanigans back when it happened. And speaking of utter shenanigans, sounds like wakey wakey someone. Someone's wide awake, and they're coming for us. But where the hell are they? And how the hell do we get to the next floor? Oh, right over there. Is this a person? Yes, it is. Okay, we got a hidden on him. Okay, perfect. We got some hits on. Is that a dog I heard? It was his death noise. I can't even tell at this point, man. Ooh, mechanical parts. Those are nice. All those parts are always going to be coming in handy. And it sounds like... Ah, oh, that's the hazmat zombie from upstairs. Good old John Jenkins from upstairs, doing his thing. Oh god. Okay, well there's one right here, this is bad. We got a little bit more room, a little bit more ready. Oh god. Yeah, at least we got a place to kite them into this time. Because these are, as you can see through their uh, very large outline, these are the two hungry zombies that were getting us real good last time. Okay, you wanna go down there, lady? Please? Just, just... I hope that hazmat zombie doesn't make his way down. If he does, this cut- Oh, hello! She- Oh my god, it just went from black and white film to freaking color with that. <laughs> uh, okay, as long as that hazmat guy stays upstairs, I'm cool with this. I'm very scared turning this corner. I'm gonna keep hitting you guys in the face. Oh, down she goes! Alright, one down! Hungry zombie down! And apparently just black and white film over there, color film over here. Doesn't make sense to me. I, I I don't know. It's not my job to make sense of stuff. I'm not even thirsty. Okay, good opportunity to maybe shoot her in the face. All right, good opportunity for her to juke my shooting of her in the face. Oh, big hit. Is she down? She's down. All right, hungry zombie down. We cleared out this floor. We got one more to go with that hazmat up there. Uh, I guess I'll take the shovel. Why the hell not? What I was saying is I think we can harvest this. I think we have to use a wrench, though, and we ought to be able to get some parts from it. I'm actually kind of looking forward to that, but it looks like this is good. We could probably go check out the reactor. Honestly, why don't we just check out the reactor like this, and it doesn't look like there's a whole ton 
But there's a giant ladder. It's, hmm. Oh god, that goes far down. Hold on a minute. Guys and gals, I think this is where the base gets even deeper. Oh. Well, this is gonna get spooky. But for now, let's just finish. Was that- Oh god, that was a zombie! Ah! I'm just like, wait, why did I move very weirdly around this thing that I'm like, oh, I know. Oh, it's my worst nightmare. It's the sleepers. Thank God I've learned to kind of deal with these guys, but I don't know if I've asked you guys yet or told you guys, but I really hope you're having an absolutely a fan for fantastic day. As always, I know I sometimes I forget, I don't say that as early, maybe some of you guys click off, and I feel bad, because I want all of you guys to have absolutely fantastic days. So I really hope you guys are having one. If not, I hope our adventures in seven days can help make it a little bit more fan for fantastic And it looks like we are about on the top floor. If we can take out this hazmat, Oh, okay, well he's doing some weird jukes here, and he- Oh god. There's a horde outside, isn't there? Oh my god, I blew up his arm! There's a horde outside. I know that sound. The sound of many arms hitting stuff at once. Damn. They- they might actually break through! No. Oh my god. Oh my god! Okay. Okay. We, we, I don't know if- Maybe this base won't be our uh, base of operations. Maybe it'll be in the basement, but for now... Oh my god. That is not good. And that's a lock to- Oh, that's gonna be so annoying to get into. But to be honest, that's probably where the good loot is. It's probably exactly where it is. How many hits? 8,000? This is 3,000. Alright, our better bet might be breaking through one of these, which is only going to take a million years, so I'll let you guys know when we're a little bit closer to uh, breaking through this wall here. Alright, we're about to break through. We're going to see if it's worth it before we- this is why I wanted to break the concrete too. I wanted to see if it was worth it, and we- Well... First things first... Goodbye to you. Okay, no. Uh, he's still alive. Well, okay, now he's climbing. What is you doing, baby? What is you doing? Stop that. Oh my god, are you good? Are you good? Are you- Please, what, where, where is he going? Can I, can, I, can I just kill him or am I gonna have to break through and kill him manually? I'm shooting him in the leg, he doesn't appreciate it, which is good because I don't appreciate- Okay, whatever, I'll- I'll break through the second one because by the looks of it- Oh no, he's helping out! My brother, help me out! Break the block, yeah! I don't know what the hell type of an accent that was, but- Oh, he's actually breaking through this. He's uh- Oh, mama! He's doing a good job. Listen, if we work together on this, he does like 200 a hit. Do you guys see this? Why are zombies so OP? I don't know, but I'm gonna use him to help me get over there, because there are two gun safes, and uh, if you guys haven't noticed, that horde, for the most part, looks like it wandered through, but there are a couple of survive- Dude, come on, come back to helping out. Yeah? Oh, did you just break the gun store box? I'm gonna loot that up first before you break it again. There we go. Good thing. He was definitely about to break that again. Come on, come over here. Break- yeah, there you go. Dude, we're actually getting a good amount of scrap iron from breaking this too, so this is kind of a little bit of a double whammy here. Although, when nighttime hits, things are gonna be a little bit on the sketchy side, because I don't know what's in the depths of this military base. I know what's on the top, we cleared most of that out. I know what's kind of in here, but I hope I can at least clear out the nuclear reactor stuff, and this should be breaking after one more hit. Good morning! How are you? Oh, let's just hit you in the face real quick. Okay, he doesn't seem to want any face hitting. Well, take it. There you go. Oh, down he goes. Any good loot falling so- Ooh. Military leg armor, you say? That sounds a little bit better than iron, but it, maybe it isn't. Anyways, oh no, they're both locked. Okay, well, we gotta go ahead and break through these again. Ugh. I'll probably just break through both of them and then we'll loot them at the same time to save a little bit of time. Or actually, while we're at it, why don't we do that at nighttime? Honestly, because we're gonna- I wanna- I wanna be stuck here overnight, so why are we wasting our time? We killed the guy up there. That's my goal right now. Clear out as many zombies in here as possible. And then... When nighttime hits, we will explore, and we will hopefully, uh, reap the rewards of what we have done. But for now, it sounds like I'm still hearing some zombies down here. So, hopefully it's a little bit more well lit. Well, actually, I'm not even gonna break open that door. A, I mean, that's another open door. I want minimum open doors, and B, we already got this right here, so it doesn't matter too much. 
Uh, we can go down. This is the top floor. Top floor is looking clear. No loot. Alright, we're gonna do this floor by floor. And it looks like this stuff- wait. This is a nuclear re- Is this a missile silo? Oh. This is not what I thought it was originally, is it? Oh. This is a missile silo. This is deeper than I thought it would- DUDE! Missiles? My god. That- Oh. I don't know what to think about this, but we definitely did just find a missile silo. And it only gets deeper. Hopefully there aren't any zombie dogs, that's the one thing I'm kind of horrified of. And why don't we... Nah, we don't need the painkillers, but maybe soon. How's everything looking down here? It's getting darker. Then we got one more floor to explore. We got some some of these and I think this is the deepest we can go. This is the bottom of the barrel. We still got three hours to clear out the zombies. So let's head down a floor and hopefully begin. We are undetected for now, so that's kind of good. Maybe we could uh, headshot one of these fellas. Somewhere around these parts, you know? There we go. Hello. Oh, big hit, down he goes. Nope, that's hitting the stupid thing he's standing in front of. Boop! Alright, he took a big hit, he still doesn't know where we are. Boop! Okay, maybe they do know where we are. Undetected? Nope. Come on, stop moving, I'm running out of arrows. Boop! Okay. I, we could go deal with them manually, just that he's kind of right by the ladder, which is sketching me out. And we probably want to craft up some more arrows. Oh, we're doing- okay, whatever. I think this is our good opportunity. Uh, although... Why don't we see if we could shoot this guy in the face? He doesn't seem to be too aware of what's going on. Boop! Nope, he's dead. Okay. We only got- we got two guys left to deal with. I can do that. I think I can handle that. That guy, especially because he's stuck down there. And it looks like... There's gonna be some- what in tarnation? Is that a cave? Huh. Alright, well you- you wanna die real quick, sir? It's for the cause. It's for the cause of killing you. Yeah, a really good cause, I swear. All proceeds go towards not your funeral. Um, there's one more guy down here. Like I said though, we may need to bail out of here if we don't clear out enough of these guys quickly enough. So I'm not trying to, you know, stick around when they learn how to run. That's every man's worst nightmare, okay. He's down. Looks like there's one more we can take out. He's detected us. Okay, why don't we- Why don't we clear you? I don't like you breaking my pathways! Huh? Yeah, this is gonna be a really nice pathway. This is gonna be from my base, and I don't appreciate you. Oh god! Ah, don't get stuck down there! Okay. Woo! Okay, he's dead. He's dead. Okay. I'll go ahead and loot them up a little bit later. Let's keep on clearing out the utility zombies. Get a couple more arrows popping. Uh, how many can we get? Why don't we do 50? I like crafting in 50s. Okay. And as soon as at least one of them are ready, let's do the deed. Boop! Take him out. And that's one more- Ooh! Painting walls. Fancy. Fancy schmancy. Uh, some sort of a ladder that goes up somewhere. I wonder where that ladder could go. Hmm. We are on the bottom floor. There's that cave that heads somewhere. Alright, let's check out where this ladder goes. Hopefully not into more people trying to kill me. Oh, this goes up pretty far- Oh, this is, this is for the silos. Okay. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Hmm. Well then. I'll continue looting those guys up. We could break through the doors, but at the same time, I'd rather keep any possible doorways closed with us being so close to nighttime now. What is this? I don't know. I don't want to know. Well, actually, I do want to know. That's kind of why we're here. Is this like radiated or something? Or were they like... Are these people alive? Oh, yeah, they are. Oh, yeah, you betcha. Okay. Oh, my God. They were, like, a different color, so I thought they were, like, you know, maybe actually dead. Nope. They, they're definitely alive. Oh, my God. They're just, like, chilling here in the tunnel. That's evil. Uh, clock's still ticking. Is that his face? Okay, that was his face. Down he goes. This is the opening to the next area. And the next area is kind of where we were peeking in through the windows, right? This looks like it might be some sort of little survival place. Well, let's continue taking out the zombies. There we go. Was that guy a businessman? How's a businessman doing down here? I think there's one guy right there. He's dead. 
Okay, I think we've cleared this area out successfully. By the looks of it, this looks to be like some sort of a survival bunker for exactly this situation. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Was that slightly too much to the right? How am I not- is this- is this, is this man's head invisible? What? Are you guys seeing this? There you go, is he dead? Okay, I was about to be like, he survived that. Are you for cereal right now? Uh, time's still going. Oh no. We might have to wrap this up next time, but at the very least, let's keep killing a couple of these military guys. Woo! There's literally a couple of them. Not good. These are the tough ones. These are the guys you do not want to fedangle with. Ugh. Come on, stay down, stay down. Don't attack me, attack each other! Alright, make war with each other, and peace with me! Isn't that how the old saying goes? Okay, they're both on the ground. We can loot up both of them. Fallen soldiers, nothing good on him. I'd love, like, some full military loot if you guys are offering, you know? I mean, I'll- I'll take it, you know? With such a nice offer on the table, how could I say no? Trick question. I couldn't say no. Okay, so this is... The elevator that leads back up to the garage, so we've almost completely explored this place. We're getting close. Very close. Hmm. Okay. Oh, we got this guy. Wakey, wakey, artichakey. Nope, he's dead. Still looking good? Still looking good. Okay, I just want to make sure, as long as all the open doors... We kill all the sleepers, I think we're in okay shape. Where the hell did you come from, good sir? What the hell? I literally walked past you and you're saying you didn't wake up? Don't tell me sleepers respawned. That... Oh, what the? What are you doing here? Mr. Businessman, you guys see that? He's just chilling down there next to the box like, This is my box. It is a good box. Okay. We're cutting it too close. Cutting it too close. I heard a zombie hitting something. Time for us to start looting up and making use of this nighttime. I'm only gonna loot stuff that I actually care about. And I think this is... Potentially the last area that we have to explore. Whatever it is. We're... we're committed, man. Nighttime has struck. Do I have any wooden frames? Secure wood- no, not wood door. Wood frame, dude. Wood frame, there we go. We need a good amount of these. Six of them. I'll take five. In case of emergency, in case we have to wall ourselves off and prepare. I always like having some of those handy and ready. In the meantime, we do have a good amount of loot for us to check out. Let's make use of this. In this missile silo. I want to see what it has to offer. We're not opening that. Might be a zombie on the other side. I refuse to do anything that could wake up any sleepers. Sleepers. They're gonna wake up. They're gonna start sprinting right at us. Do you guys hear that noise? I don't like that. It doesn't sound like it's too close. It sounds like it's close. But if it was actually close, it'd be insanely loud. So, no one's actually there. Do we... Is there... Landmines. I think that's from above, potentially. Overalls? Eh. I don't really care about those. I don't really care about the cloth, either. I just want actual loot. So, like, suitcases and nightstands. These might have some legit things for us. I just remember nightstands. They usually don't disappoint. Sometimes they have clothes, but a lot of times, dude, people hold their guns in their nightstands, and it's amazing. Lockers also have some solid stuff. I'll probably scrap that. We ought to get a little bit of scrap iron. Right? Do we get scrap iron out of that? Yeah, we do. 45. Ooh la la. Alright, one more nightstand. And nothing there. Let's get heading back. Oh no, we got one more. And then that middle room that I refuse to open. It's probably like a bathroom or something, but still, I'm not rolling the dice on that. No, thank you. But I'm very happy that we did what we did just in time. Because that gives us the ability to be very productive during this nighttime. Because usually during nighttime, you know, we just gotta chill. And try not to die to zombies. But here we have a giant place to loot up that we've cleared of zombies and scrap gloves. Ooh, that sounds nice to me. I'll go ahead and learn that. Is that a dead guy or that might be a sleeping businessman? I think that is a sleeping businessman. So we'll go ahead and we'll go there later. <laughs> any any place where I see people who may or may not have woken up, I'll go ahead and avoid. <laughs> Rather not do that. Do we loot up this place yet? Right over here. I closed the door. So maybe someone's still in there. I don't remember. I have the memory of a goldfish. Remember this. I guess we'll make our way back. 
Maybe loot up some of the remains if they have anything. If not, no worries. We still got the bottom of the missile silo to check out. And, ooh, a backpack. I totally missed this thing, didn't I? Well, good thing I missed it, because it was worthless. God, I hear those noises. They just make me scared that, like, I missed a zombie somewhere. And if we did, that's a nightmare scenario. Because that's where the zombie comes in and poops on us. But at least our landmines, or not our landmines, but the base's landmines, as we have commandeered it to be our own, they seem to be doing a pretty solid number. So that's good. Zombie- Ooh! I'll take the hoe. We'll probably scrap that down, or potentially combine it. I know we did have a second hoe as well. Zombie remains? Ooh! You know, why don't we start scrapping these? Start bringing together a little bit of room. Let's drop the broken glass. There we go, that frees up a couple slots for us. Slots are good. Importante. They let us actually loot up some stuff. I... I totally forgot I didn't... clear that area, those two doors. Or whatever's on the other side of that glass. So I'd say... Let's head on back up. I think we were at the top floor, right? That's how we got in here? Seriously, freaking missile silo, man. Oh god. This is definitely a bit riskier of a night time than what we're used to. Because I think some zombies are trying to break through to our missile silo. I still can't believe there's a freaking missile silo, though. That's insane. Alright. I think in terms of loot, that just leaves us to check out the top floor. And that shouldn't be too problematic unless they've already broken in. I don't think that should be the case, though. Oh. Oh, God. That's a, that's a moving zombie over there. Oh, God. Did we forget? I don't know. You guys saw that? I barely saw it myself. I saw footsteps start moving. And as stupid as that sounds, that could spell out disaster, so hold on. Just in case... I'm moving some stuff here. Gotta be ready. Let's drink a little bit of tea. Prepare our booties. Things may or may not get very intense. Right here. Oh, our wellness increased, yay! Hopefully he's not by the stairs. But you guys saw that, right? I saw footsteps. Right there. Okay. Just let him walk by. Okay. We're up on the next floor. I don't think he's smart enough to get up here. Whew. Mama. One more floor to go. Damn. Zombies seriously do so much damage. I'm gonna need to nerf them a little bit, because by the looks of it, they're a little bit OP. They do more damage per hit than my goddamn tools do. You're telling me zombie hands are more powerful than my tools? Mm-mm. My power tools are very powerful. That's why they're called power tools, man. Alright, well here we got a source of light. And also some things to break into. I'll go ahead and begin that process. I'll let you know when both are broken into, or when some form of disaster strikes us. Knowing our luck, it'll probably be the second option, but hey, you know, gotta stay somewhat optimistic or something like that. Uh, I'm gonna keep wearing that, yeah. Okay, let's scrap that thing. I don't even know why I'm scrapping these. I don't like scrapping them. Mini bike handlebars, I think we have some of those back home. This sawn-off shotgun, though, I like that. Especially if we steal the shotgun shells from it. I don't know if we're gonna do that. Okay, back on topic. Let's close this thing up. Let's get to looting. And with one hit to go, boom! We are into both gun safes. Let's see what we got. Okay. We got some shotgun parts. Do we ever actually learn how to uh, assemble a shotgun? No. We didn't. Damn. That would have been pretty useful. We didn't learn how to use the sawn off either. Eh, and that sucks for us, but whatever. Why don't we drop the glass jar? We'll pick up these two. Those are both pretty nice parts. I think they'll make very good additions when necessary. And. But more parts. Shotgun stock looks pretty poopy, but it's slightly better than ours. We could use it to repair, although I think we don't even need anything that fancy to... Eh, we, we need a repair kit to repair it. Uh, it's, uh, it's, 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 uh, I'd rather not, like, put these things to waste, but I don't know what to drop. Well, okay, two wood. That can probably go. Hello, pistol part of the best variety. That can probably go. Hello, shotgun stock. I think we need glue for some stuff, so I'll drop the fragments. We got the hunting rifle. Boom. 
Shaka Laka with a about an hour to go, so not too shabby. So what I say we do is try to make our way back up top. Although I'm a little bit scared some zombies might aggro us along the way. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I mean make our way back through the entrance, which is right about there. And after that zombie horde wandered through here, looks like there's a couple of survivors left in town. Hmm. I don't know how to feel about that, and I don't really know what I want to do about that either. There's the missile silos I was talking about, though. Those things are freaking awesome. Seriously. A goddamn missile silo. There's gonna be rockets and stuff shooting out of those. Got to, someone's gotta mod the game so you can actually shoot rockets or something, but... Why don't we make our way, see if we can complete our mission? Head on down there. Eh, wait, there's still the zombie down here that I'm kind of scared of. Hmm. Well, I don't want to waste these 50 minutes, because 50 minutes is a lot of time in-game. But our inventory is pretty full, so we got to hell with it. Let's go out with the bang, boys. We got the club. If he wants to square up, come at me. Bruh. Do it. Do it. Is he still on this floor even, or did he migrate somewhere? Hopefully he migrated to a different room. I seriously don't know how I forgot him, but while we're at it, any good books? Any shotgun books in the bookcase? Please? That's not a book! Unless you want me to write my own shotgun book, but it'd probably be like a freaking coloring book. That you can like, I'd, I'd probably do it wrong too. You know? I, when I was doing the coloring, I would probably totally mess it up. And just color yourself the wrong color. It'd probably tell me what color to do it. I'd still find a way to mess it up. But okay. Enough of making fun of myself. Let's make our way. Is this the right way? This is the right way. To the garage. I feel like there might be zombies in the garage. If there is, we run for the hills. But so far, it looks okay. Doesn't look like they got in through the door. Or through the tower. But it sounds like one of them's definitely nearby. Well, in about 10 in-game minutes, that's not gonna matter because we're gonna be A-OK -okay to go regardless of the situation. And... By the looks of it, let's head on up here. This is where our storage chest should be, and right is where we're about to go outside. It's gonna become daytime, so the zombies won't bother us, which is absolutely perfect timing. And we only have a little bit more of this military base to loot, so this is where I have to ask you guys for your help and for your input. Do we continue looting this base, or do we go on to the next one? Because, I don't know, I kind of want to make sure we clear out this place so it could be an actually safe base for us. That'd be pretty freaking awesome. But at the same time, do we want to pass up potentially some very good loot? So go ahead, make sure to let me know that type of stuff in the comment section down below. But on that, that is probably going to, I'm very scared. Go ahead and wrap it up for me. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Seriously, thank you so much. I appreciate it a ton. As always, I love doing this series with you guys. It's always an absolutely fun time and you guys just, you guys make it what it is. So thank you so much again. And people are just getting blown up out there, aren't they? Uh, that's about good for stuff that we want to keep. I probably want to get a little bit more wood, but we can figure that out. But yeah, comment section down below. Let me know what you guys want to see. Let me know what you guys want to see us do from here. We've barely explored this town, but that appears to be a military encampment. So maybe it won't even go as deep underground. So maybe it'll be a bit of a quicker loot. But uh, this is a flat out military base, military installation. So this one is... Very interesting. So go ahead, let me know what you guys would like to see me do. Discuss it in the comments, discuss with each other. Let's come to a consensus here because this is going to be a pretty big decision with time waning down. We only have three days to prepare for the horde. So this could be our last loot day and then we might spend the next two making sure we're ready because what I want to do is probably surround this place in spikes and that's not going to be cheap. We also have some holes to repair, like the one that happened over on that side. Uh, let's see if I could show you guys that really quickly, because uh, there was a hole, unfortunately. A pretty big one, because zombies are freaking OP, apparently. And uh, there's a zombie bear outside, too, so that's just great. But that's going to go ahead and wrap for me. Thank you guys. Hey, hold on for watching. Have yourselves a fan-freaking-tastic day. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.